and welcome to the KCAC tournament. We are getting ready for another week of Rocket League action. My name is Soy. Joining me is Tiny Shiny. And Tiny, it's good to see you again. Oh, it certainly is. It's been so long since we've worked together, Soy Sauce. And here on the platform of Collegiate Rocket League is exactly where I would like us to be today. KCAC has just picked off their season. Week number two is about to commence here now. And, you know, we've had... Quite an interesting set of teams that have come and gone with that new semester. We've had players that are coming in either as younger or those that have moved on to bigger and maybe better things, depending on what that may be, from Rocket League themselves. So a lot of these rosters starting to get adjusted and ready. We have Col Columbia College Cougars taking on York's University Panthers in their second week matchup. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting one. We saw the York Panthers last week. They looked really good. This is a, a roster that's been together for a little bit and had a lot of time in the offseason to try and work things out. And I really like the chemistry that this team has built up. And you saw it really come together in that opening week matchup against Concordia mm -hmm. on stream last week. Now they're going to have their hands full with Columbia College. This is a solid esports program, especially when it comes to Rocket League. But this is the Navy squad that we haven't gotten to see a lot of yet. So a lot of question marks coming into this matchup this week. The only thing that we really know for sure is that week one matchup result, which we're going to go ahead, take a look at our standings, and we'll see the Columbia College Navy, not not white, is going to be in sixth place as of now for this division. And the biggest thing to note here, it's been one match. Three of the teams had to win. Three of the teams had to lose. So Columbia College did lose, end up losing their first matchup. I believe it was to the Ottawa University Braves. So... They're wanting to get off to a better start here, take down York, get that first win on the table to show that they really can bring it this season. Should be a fun uh, next set of matchups here. Ottawa, you know, in that third spot with the win. Kansas Wesleyan, a newer school that we'll get to see later on in the season. They should be fun to watch, but we're going to focus back in on this series here with the York Panthers going up against the Columbia College Cougars Navy squad. And I'm curious to see what type of play style we get to see out of Columbia College because Columbia last year won the conference championship, but it was their A squad. It was, you know, Cryptic and Cam just you know, barreling through a lot of tough competition, even though the scoreboard would say, you know, for the series, a sweep 4-0 or 3-0, there were a lot of games that were only one goal here, one goal there. And that's actually, actually kind of what we saw from uh, York last week was that it was very close, you know, even through three, four minutes of the game. And then in the last minute, someone would, you know, make a mistake or someone would make a, a game-breaking play, find that one opening to extend their lead. And, from there, they were able to hold on or just continue to push, capitalize on mistakes. So those small interactions late in the game, being able to close out a game are what I'm looking for in this week two matchup. Mm -hmm. And it all, a lot of that does come down to that level of competitive experience. Like I said before, you are going to have some of these players that are going to be new to their rosters. They're going to be taking time to get used to the play field. And what better way to do it than starting off game one here, Exilist 
already in great control of the ball, getting a good push to the goal where York University have to rush back for an early stop. Out to Cam Goats on to the back corner after a great rush, that great aggressive opening. It's a lot of space for Columbia to work with. Ooh, that one's going to get chipped up. Cryptic here. And now looking for Cam. Electric is on the break Ooh. here with a good, good clear out. That one ricochets off the backboard. Ace will recenter it, but Cam is the only one there. He's looking for a touch off the ceiling. Drop down in front, but it will be cleared away. And now Cryptic looking to kick this one off the wall to himself. Has a chance at this one. Just tries oh. to take it by himself, and he will overtop the last defender. And the first goal is on the board. Normally, I would say, how often does this actually end up working? Not a lot, but because Cryptic had such great control over the trajectory of that ball, York University just couldn't get there in time, and Columbia College, a pure show of mechanical prowess to get them that first point. Yeah, Cryptic and Cam were masters of mechanics in that championship run last season. Yep. We'll see how they do here. They've already gotten that goal early and look at the passing oh, play oh okay. my cam from the corner and look at the assist here from cryptic wow. backtracking on this one and cam comes off the wall to get back over to that ball what a shot what a goal that is crazy soy sauce first of all not only doubling back to get that ball reaching that spot basically touching the ceiling from reverse and then proceeding to Play one of the most beautiful passes that I have seen all game. So clean to get it in. But York University are here to bounce back. That was the elimination. I believe it was on to Exodus here. Could not escape. And has a free shutout for Bondo. Look at the read by Bondo. Gets the block in front and then immediately goes to demo the last defender. And that's a huge play. And York University mentioned it last week. But they had a pretty good bracket run through the loser side of the KCAC championship as oh my excels nearly able to push that one into the back of the net but York University on that run it was players like Bondo who stepped up got a couple of key touches and good shots on goal to help spark York into that that loser's bracket run to get them into the loser semis but this one's gonna find the back of the net excels able to make it three to one Yep, uh, each player has scored a goal for Columbia College at this point within that first two minute period. And uh, this is a team that, like you said, they've won the championship last year. They've continued to play together throughout the summer. They have a significant advantage just coming into this league as an experienced as this three stack. A lot of experience, but that was something that we like to see out of York last week was that it was a team that really grew and had good chemistry headed into that week one matchup against the, the newcomers of Concordia. But they certainly have their hands full here against the Cougars. Cryptic, what a catch. And he's got the flip reset too. Oh. Can't get over Bondo though. Well read Electric to keep the pressure on here through the corner. Good demo on the backside. Ace beats one. Cryptic has to make a solid touch and he does escape Electric for now. here Columbia College holding that two goal lead as we're about to hit the halfway point in game number one here Looking for a good shot cryptic ends up getting bumped away but a cap from cam goat looks for the goal but no momentum behind that shot ace easily able to tap that one out of the line of sight and they want to see another big one from Botto, but Escalus is doing such a great job holding down this midfield that there's very few chances that York University have to escape their goal Good chip out pass here. They're able to break out for the moment. Oh, good tip up here. Electric trying to get Ooh. by Cryptic with a solid read on that play. Ace just trying to keep the pressure on. And the third oh. man bites him. It's going to be Cryptic at the back door. This is the one thing that's so dangerous. Ace tries to keep the ball in, but Cam beats him to it off the wall and centering that pass right back to the middle where only Cryptic can get to it. it means it's 4-1 to one, Columbia. York University committed all three of their players in that same corner around that full boost pack and that is a huge problem for somebody such as Cryptic who's going to identify that opportunity and take it with open arms. 4-1 now for Columbia Colleges. They are looking to make a dominant statement here in game one and I can't say it doesn't look like they're done just yet. 
still working their way along this wall. Cryptic Ooh. was looking for a bump and Cam nearly came across to get that shot. That pinch is off the backboard, dangerously so. Recentered here, and that air dribble gives the ball up to Cryptic. He's up for this one. Plenty of boost in the tank. Flip reset in hand. Ace gets the block. Cam now is up. It's his turn to go for the air dribble. He's looking for the double tap. Oh, and what an angle man. it was! Guillotine style, 5-1 Columbia! Cam is the GOAT right now. Look at that textbook level double tap that they were just able to execute. I mean, these are your CRL full champions right here. Columbia College and Navy are an experienced roster, and I have no idea how they ended up losing in the previous week. And you know what? Maybe I do now. Left your goal a little bit unprotected off of this kickoff. Cam GOAT wasn't quite ready for cover. Yeah, and look at the chip up there by Electric. It's so key to get that extra little pop off of the kickoff too. Well read there by York. They get one back. Still down three, but a minute 20. This is not out of the woods quite yet, unless this one goes in, but it rolls up the post. Bondo did not spot. Excels forked that one off the wall, and Bondo will be able to clear it. He'll get the mid boost as well. Maybe a chance for him, but look at the pinch out. It's down in front for Cryptic. He tries to get the block off the musty flick there. It comes off the wall, and it will go the other way. Electric's got minimal boost in the tank, though. Has to flick this one mid. Ace is there. Bounce shot on. Cryptic save. Everyone diving at that one to ensure there was no chance to get that one to the back of the net. That fast reaction time there that is keeping Yorkville in this game and York University, they're fighting to keep themselves alive and the goal has been so long unprotected and they're racing to get these stops every single time. They're making it as close as humanly possible right now. But when Crypto just takes it sailing over your heads, what can you even do about that? A hat trick for Cryptic, and it was 2v1. Cam immediately wow. rushes towards Ace, and there's nothing he can do about it. Has to jump early, and Cryptic just excels forward, uses the boost, and it's 6-2 to two for the Cougars. 26 seconds remaining. Bondo's going to get a good block on the kickoff. Excels, though, now with a chance to air dribble. Flip reset. Second touch wow. all the way across. Nearly found him on the opposite side of the box, but... No contact made, cleared by Bondo, and with 10 seconds left, it's going to be York out of time here in game number one, and Columbia picking things up where they left off last year with a W in game number one. Oh, and they're, they're just taking it across. Cam, go. This is just rude to even do that to York University. Six to two to kick off game number one. Columbia College Navy wanted to come out with a statement, and my goodness, that is what they got. Yeah, what a huge statement for them. Cryptic and Cam in particular, just getting so many key touches. And those are the two names that if you watch CRL, you recognize them. But Excels yeah. is the new man on this roster, and he was getting involved pretty well. You saw the flip resets, a couple of ceiling shots in there thrown in. But what's really interesting is you look at the way Columbia attacks, right? It feels like they're attacking at such odd angles. Think of that goal yeah. that comes off the wall, the ceiling flips, even that very last pass that they just missed on to be able to dribble all the way across the width of the field to go for a pass at the far side of the box. It's just so creative from Columbia. It is. And that is, I think that's another piece that really helps them stand out in these matches is if you're taking these angles, these unpredictable spots, teams aren't going to have the time to react to it. And Columbia College, they're a squad that has the mechanical talent to be able to take these ceiling shots, to get those double taps in. And York University, they're struggling to catch up. And really, all they can hope for is that they can start learning from this past map. Now you kind of get an understanding for how Columbia College would like to take this pacing going, learn from that, and apply it to the future. We'll see what they can do here as they get ready for game number two. We talked about it, how this team's got a lot of chemistry after playing together for uh, you know at least a season or so. It's all players returning for this squad. So I'm really curious to see what they can bring out here in game number two. Obviously, game number one didn't go as planned, but you saw that there were openings. They were able to get some, sh uh, some shots on goal. The kickoff goal was also well-schemed. So can they find more opportunities like that to maybe even out that scoreboard because it feels like Columbia, especially with the way that they performed last year, the offense was an inevitability. Oh, oh my. my! Cam, what a double tap attempt. Cryptic's hanging out on the backboard here. Excels got it under one. Cleared away momentarily. Cam 
Hard redirect all the way across. Cryptic is out wide to pinch it back in front, but it is forked wide once again. Excelst is there, and every time York go for a clear, there is a cougar waiting in the midst. Oh, these rotations are so clean. I mean, Columbia College Navy right now, they are just going in, getting the reset, coming back. It's like an endless barrage of points, but the problem is, is that you go so fast, you focus on the offense, you forget about the D, and Ace finds themselves with a perfect open net shot to get to the University that lead. And Cam was in the corner. I think he took a wide rotation to go for corner boost. Might have tripped himself up along the way there, but it left the back door open, and so York University, I believe this is their first lead of this series, so... Good early start here, minute gone by. Cam, that pinch is a giveaway. Down in front, Electric nearly had the pre-jump read. And Cam will immediately boom that one to the backboard. What oh, a shot it. and what okay. a follow-up from Excels. The Panthers just get swarmed so quickly here. This is crazy right now what Columbia College maybe are accomplishing. The Cougars should not be allowed to do this at all. But what they're doing is they're forcing the ball. There's Every single one of these hits is intentional. Every single time the ball is touched, it is with such speed and force because they have that confidence, that trust within their teammates to be able to follow up. And they're quite literally driving circles around York University in terms of the field and ball control. Bondo wanted a bump on the back line there, but... It did not matter. Two players were up for Columbia, and one of them got the touch to clear that ball away. Now they can start their march forward. No flick coming through, and Excelst got it by a second man here. Ace is going to have to buy Ooh. some time. Cryptic was looking to center that ball for Cam. Might still be there. It gets popped over him. Cryptic will now move forward. Careful to not hit that flying in defender there. That could have been a dunk and a fast break the other way and that okay. ball somehow evades the nose of the defender and excels just rockets it that one into the net fourth goal of the day for excels and that's the second time where you just expect excels is sitting down mid waiting for that opportunity and just gunning it down straight towards the goal no fear there is no stopping at this point and Columbia College, they're doing this to exactly their advantage. Cryptus with another beautiful center. Campbell looking for the follow-up. We need to get the retreat back. Electric had the control, but ended up losing it towards the tail end. It was a good run from York University. And now they have to keep that control. Finally start to get some of these shots off. I do like the way that York's offense is working right now. It's working from distance, but it's finding pockets and finding opportunities to shoot. Okay. But look at that from Excels. A rocket of a shot again, 73 miles per hour, and look at the pass right in front of the defender. And those are the worst ones as a defender when you're coming up to make a play on a ball, and it just gets forked out in the midfield right in front of you, like a drop down to the other team. It's the worst feeling because you feel like you should have gotten there, but it gets ripped away in that very moment. Halfway mark hit here at a 3-1 lead for Columbia. This ace uses all his boosts to deny any further attempt, and he'll clear it away. And that gives possession right back to Columbia. Well, they are in control. Cryptic looking for the shot, but two players able to pinch them out of position. Now it's Excelst. We're going to force these players into a specific spot where they can make something happen, but the Ooh. jet back had to come through that defensive rotation. We finally got to see a little bit more of it. Now with that demolition onto Ace, that gives Cryptic the time to start working with the ball, work their magic. Is it gonna come to any fruition, but it does force Gold University to give up so much space. It really does. Now Excels here, going for another air dribble, gets bumped off of it. Cryptic with a chance to shoot, okay. and he will strike true. His first to game number two, but Excels baiting everyone in here. You have to really leap at that one, or you would think, but he's the third man back. And when you commit to that ball at midfield, you better get a hand on it. Otherwise, that is exactly what will happen in Columbia. They never miss those. Four to one now with under a minute 40 on the clock at Excels. Got the flip reset. Bondo got the block in front. Cryptic barely tips it wide. And it's 2v1 the other way. Electric can't oh. get there. And Cryptic is denied by Bondo. The attempt was there, the one-two punch. It looked like it was inevitable, but that incredible defensive play, York University just blocked the players instead of the ball. And that's something they've been turning to a little bit more in the series, trying to knock these guys out of the positioning to actually follow up. But 
Cam Goat right now is just vibing in the back line, and Electric takes that opportunity to get one in the back of the net for York. We'll make it four to two here. Good read off the corner. Those corner reads have been tricky for York. I mean, think back to that first goal I believe we saw from uh, Excelsi as he was able to just barely rip that ball off the nose of Ace. It's really difficult to get some of those corner reads, but he reads the bounce shot well, and that gets them back within striking distance here in a minute left. They do have to push the pace, though. This Columbia defense does not give you many opportunities, but that one's free in front. Ace will dive back. Electric will get the clear. Can he get back to the wall? Cryptic cuts it off once more. Ace will read this one into the corner. Excels reads the oh, bounce off the okay. defender, and that's four for him. Excels is some sort of profit right now. The way that this guy is able to read exactly when that bounce is going to come in is out of this world. And has gotten them, I believe, let me count them, one, two, three, four goals over the course of this match, which is nuts just for this guy to accomplish on their own. Four out of the five, and it's going to be looking for a fifth one just to tap it off in the final 30 seconds. Four out of seven of his shots have gone in. He's got 800 points. The closing in on that thousand marker is always impressive. Cam, ground pinch to move this one out. Will be intercepted by Ace. Looking for a ricochet here. Does get a touch, but Excels wasn't able to read it in time. Cryptic back and able to defend this ball. Gets over Electric, gets past the next man, and Cryptic will get on the board once more for the brace. This is the second time we've seen Cryptic pull something like this off. I mean, the guy was playing Leapfrog or Dodgeball or something out of the sorts. Two players from the Panthers came flying in their direction. Neither able to hit, swerved out of the way, let the ball continue on its trajectory. 6-2, once again, we're getting a bit of deja vu as those final three seconds are going to tick down and that ball will strike the ground here eventually. Columbia College on the break, going up 2-0 in this series. And the ball, yes, as it stays alive, York University are gonna be down at a match point a full match point here here that they are up 2-0 in this best of five series and columbia i mean feels like they're picking up right where they left off after oh, yeah. that week one loss i mean you you find ways to bounce back and that's what good teams do you just take those losses in stride and keep moving forward and here on stream they're putting on a show and i'm really you know excited to see what this roster can do especially with the way Excelst is playing as the new member of oh, yeah. this squad, you know, you might think it would take a minute for him to kind of adjust or take a second to adapt to the chemistry, the play style. No, he is fitting right in like a gear in the machine. It is the perfect fit and the wheels just keep on turning for this offense. It was like, where, it's where he's meant to be, to be honest with you, joining this roster for the current fall season. And, you know, if we were going to get anybody some slack for this evening's performance, it would have been excelled, but has gone above and beyond the expectations that have put into place. It is clear that they have been scrimming because not only do they have the insane mechanical talents, as you would be to be a member of the Columbia College Rocket League team, but it's also clear that they fit into these communications like clockwork soy sauce. Yeah, the, that corner read, too, was just so impressive. To read that ball off of the Dominus hit, to get that pinch into the far post. That is not an easy shot to read, especially at that angle, coming into the corner and having it ricochet off. That is really well done. It shows the, the prowess that this team has. They're just so knowledgeable. And you called it out a little bit earlier too. Just every touch has such intent behind it. There is no lackadaisical play from Columbia College. They just continue to march forward and be it an air dribble, be it a booming clear. They are just everywhere on the orange pitch. They were everywhere. It was swarming with the blue team for the first half of our game. The second half is still coming up in just a couple minutes. So we're going to head to a quick break, get everything in order, and we'll see you on the other side.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the KCAC Week 2 Rocket League action here. We are getting ready for game number 3 between Columbia College and York University. Columbia College, they are on to match point and they look fantastic in doing so. How does York battle back here, Tiny? That is quite a loaded question, oh, yeah. I have to say. <laughs> York, I, I want to give them credit. They're not going down without some sort of score on the board. They have capitalized on these open nets that Columbia College have basically left out for free. They're starting to get careless. And if that continues to happen, I think it is not without the realm of possibility. Perhaps we see York come back and take a map. Is it going to be hard? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Especially when you look at how Excel's Cryptic, and of course, just, just include the whole team at this point, of how the entirety of the Cougars are playing. The Panthers are struggling to keep up, and already, we're not even 10 seconds in, but they're putting up the saves like crazy. Great first save there by Electric. in Columbia, this was one of the things about Columbia last year, was that it felt like their offense could put up great numbers at will, but they did sometimes give up okay. goals like this. Electric over the top of everybody here off the feed from ace off the ceiling and look at this touch some power behind it too just yeah. barely gets over the top of that third man and gives york another opening goal yeah i mean york university this is the point that like hey we're starting to make that turnaround come to light in columbia college Navy. it's happened to them last time and you know what happens when they do that soy sauce they turn it up to 11. What a kickoff here. It gets by. No wow. touch off of the other kickoff, so it might have been planned on the fake, but Cam just, again, reads that corner so well, and I guarantee you, nine times out of ten players who take those shots pull that, that shot in a little bit too close and hit the inside post and don't get the shot on goal, but Cam, he is a sniper at heart, and he puts that one in the back of the net and ties this game up at one apiece. Already that early tie, two goals in that first minute and Cam go getting the ball out of their backboard wants to make another incredible run but there's York University they're starting to show up two players the net was wide open but the third man was just a little bit too far away York University they had that golden chance to take that lead back once again but unfortunately didn't have the speed to make it happen cryptic was up there at midfield gets it over to Cam cryptic is already up there and oh. Cam was looking out to see if he wanted the pinch or not. Could not connect on it. Bondo now. Oh, trying to go for the demo. Cheeky play there as Cryptic reads it. Electric is in front trying to dead stop that ball, but won't be able to do so. Goes back all the way to Cam inside the box. Gets an air dribble out to midfield. Electric is there to receive. It'll continue to follow. No boost used, but he has his foot reset. Excels two key blocks there as York was looking to march forward. They thought that they had the chance to be able to work with it, but here we are once again. Excels, the mechanical master, back in control of the ball. And you can see that Excels is really being put up in a position to succeed today. Cam Goat playing into Excels' hands totally. And I, I, will, I do want to give your credit, though, Soy Sauce. This is the most that we've seen them in, or rather out, of their own defensive end. Oh, but they get a little bit too far forward and look at the punish here. Cam's already downfield, gets to the wall, forks that one out, beats the double commit and cryptic with a punch to the back of the net. Four, or sorry, 72 miles per hour on the shot, two to one Columbia. Yep, Columbia regaining that lead once again. Not as flashy as it has been in the past, but if we know anything about this team, and if the Cougars like to make things happen and do it quickly, it was a full triple commit just to try to get a touch into the goal. None of them, all three players were denied and have to go back for the reset. The Panthers now have an opportunity of their own, but they're struggling to gain control within the quarter, and here they are. They're all clumped up, Soy Sauce. This is the second time we've seen that happen, but thankfully you have Bondo to get the block, but who's there for the second and potential third follow-up? Excels, what a read Ooh. off the wall there, and it nearly goes in under the crossbar. He's back up again. Cryptic's looking for the double wow. tap all the way across. Wow. And Excels is there from inside the box. Follow his perspective the whole way through. He was parked in the sky wow. and somehow reads the double tap to make it <laughs> three to one. That has got to be the longest. Hey, I'm going to pass it to you. Get ready, ever. The ball moved in slow motion. Excels essentially just 
held themselves in midair, hovering, waiting for the ball to come in, and Cryptic eventually got it in that small inch to tap the pitch in the back of the net. And wow, I mean, these plays are just so much fun to watch, Soy Sauce. One of, the, oh. one of those plays as a defender that you look at and you go, what is he doing up there? Oh, oh no, as he oh, no. is able to tap that one in to make it three to one. Minute 50 on the clock now in Columbia. They continue to just rain bullets down onto this orange half. Electric now chips this ball forward, following up there with a chance at it. That one's redirected in front. Cam, dangerous roll across there, but does keep that ball into a safer spot they're ricocheting this ball at their own backboard and it's getting dangerously close to the net but interestingly enough that can act as a pretty good strategy to keep the ball away from the opposing team they never expect you to shoot on your own net and it's harder to read some of those bounces cryptic is going to move forward here two on one gets Whoa. the demo but another key play by bondo and company marches this ball the opposite way Get it out of the danger, and especially after that demolition onto Ace. You need to get the clear, but Ace is there, but two against one. Columbia College Navy easily coming out on top of that round. And just, what, 61 seconds left on the clock. Four to one right now. This is just crazy from Columbia College. The performance they're putting up, they want this first win. Really good transition game from Columbia to help them execute that play. Four to one. Bondo, I believe in the Proteus, not a car you normally see moving forward. Ace also noteworthy uh, in the in the Scarab. And I think York did this last week too. Game three, they just said, you know what? Why not? We're feeling confident. We're, we're putting up some goals. <laughs> maybe, maybe use some unconventional cars. Get in, get, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, Ooh, Ace okay. got, Ace was up for that challenge and they somehow faked him out and got under him. He's got minimal boost here, but he will get the block. It's cleared away. With 25 seconds left, Columbia with a three-goal lead, and they're looking for another one. Cam up towards the backboard. Slow play. Kicking that one back down. Excels cannot make contact. Gets forked away from him. 